Hello, it's Sarah. I'm going to share a couple of mini albums that I made today. I got the new Zutter. Um, you know, the Bind It All, I guess it is. The pink one. Ooh, I like it. Um, so that came and um, I wanted to give it a try. I made this little... Um, mini album sorry I don't need words but what what started it was I had made a couple of okay everyone's probably seen these by now these are those one sheet of paper little mini albums that you fold 112 by 12 inch paper into a little mini album and you can this one doesn't have the pockets because I got tired of making pockets and just started making them plain and just putting the paper and I did make a little chipboard cover for these and put the string behind the paper and um, have the tie or put the ribbon behind the paper I think I did do one of these with the pockets yeah this one has pockets so there's like I just did a little bit of stamping on there with some perfect pearls and then there's a little tag in the pockets I made these a while back but um, I had I, I wasn't crazy about the bigger ones I did. They just didn't look right. I kind of finagled the pages in a way that I wasn't happy with. So I thought it was a good, a quick and easy way to make, to use the, the bind it all. So I made this one and I ended up making my pages out of just cardstock and I just folded them. I mean, I guess I should be more prepared and I know the measurements and everything, but I basically just kind of took off that quarter inch so that there would be that little bit of room you know I, I kind of went by this because it was already cut and made these covers were already made um, so I just went ahead and you know made the, the page a tiny bit smaller and I made a pocket page so I made these little pocket pages and I used the um, what is this paper line called everybody knows it's uh I'm just drawing a blank Mariposa <laughs> the Mariposa paper stack but um, I used the three quarter inch um, binding uh, binding coils on this one and I think I probably should have went with the inch so that's kind of like a new thing that you'll figure out I guess the more you use it but I've made lots of little minis with the rings like just the key ring type um, what are they called they're called they're called binding rings I think they are but anyway um, so the, I'll just give you a quick little, I did not embellish it at all. Oh, I made the little back pockets too. So I put two facing each other and then a top pocket on the other. I use this page as two top pockets. So there's a top pocket on each one and there's a, a side pocket too. But um, I just, the way I did them, I just uh, put them facing each other. So there's two there's facing each other pockets and then there's two top loading pockets so each page has um, a, a front facing pocket and then a top loading pocket but I liked it because it, it just seems to I like the bind it all um, I see I see a lot of people use it and like them so anyway the next one the one I made today that I really wanted to share um, is this one and I used the one inch binding this one has six pages this one has one, two, three, five, six pages. So they both have six pages. And like I said, I think I should have used the one inch binding rings on this one too, because it's a little, you can see how it kind of goes up. So this one, I chose to use the, um, the one inch binding rings. Now this is actually a digital kit. And real quick, I want to say that what inspired me to do this was I had the kit. I had it all cut out and it was sitting in a folder in my drawer. And I have another one that I, I have an, a video that I made actually of my altered composition book that I made. And I have another digital kit from a Ephemeris Vintage Garden that I must have printed it out too small because it didn't fit. So I ended up using Once Upon a Time for my composition book. But anyway, so I have, I still have that paper. It's just the, not the right size. Anyway, I saw um, Twins for Me, Christy. Um... She made a video called Digital Kit Mini. And so she shares her mini that she made with the same, very same kit. It's called Steam Town Spring. Um, and you can get that at ephemerasvintagegarden.com. Um, and so I just figured, uh, perfect, it's all cut out already. I just need to make some pages. So I kind of made the same, a similar, I think Christy made 
the same pages. I don't know if we made them the same way. I think I folded mine up. I took a 12 by 12 piece of paper and cut it five inches and um, squared on half inch and then uh, flipped it up. But anyway, because we both use tags. And I just covered mine with the ephemera the same way she did. So I totally got the idea for the pages and everything from Christy. So thank you, Christy. But um, I really just wanted to use my bind at all. So um, she does a very nice share on hers. I'm, I'm like so hectic in my videos. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, I did use the, I didn't use a lot of the extras. She had a lot more extras than me, I think, like pockets and stuff. Um, I did use this, uh, I forget what they call it. It's like a flower envelope or something with like little tags inside. And you've got to fold it like a box to get it to go together. But I'd never used one of them before. So the paper is really pretty. Um, like I said, uh, this is actually, it was just, the, the covers were just printed out to look like a journal. So it was just kind of like an old leathery looking journal. And I didn't do anything special to the paper and just cut it. I, I used black chipboard and just glued my um, covers on a smidge smaller. And I just kind of went with the colors up from the paper line. There was um, gold and this teal color. I guess you would call it teal aqua. And just um, put some stuff on my, some flowers and some bling. And then this is, I forget, I think I got these at the dollar st store. And I just put like a little piece of the paper and stamped the magic on that. And a little bird and some bling. So um, it's a little steampunky because it's steam town spring. So anyway, and then there's just some of the paper. And like I said, I just glued a bunch of the ephemera to the tags. And I like the way it opens flat because of the bind at all. And so... I'm, I'm kind of happy with it. I'm going to have to see what else I can do. Um, I just like um, glued all the ephemera onto the tag like Christy did. She's the one who totally gave me the idea. Um, because you have all these little extras. Like when you get the pages printed out, they have little extra stuff on the page too. So I had cut all that stuff out already. So I just kind of collaged it onto the tags. Oh, this actually I ripped the page because I tried to use... Um, the envelope or something and I didn't like how it looked so I tried pulling it off and then a piece of the paper kind of got ripped so I just covered it with this piece of paper and just like used some of the paper the other extra little pieces to make tags with and just stick stuck them in there so that's cool so you can always cover your mistakes and let another tag so I just tried to use like this has the mushroom on it so I just tried to use the mushroom and then you know, um, but it's cute. They're, her paper lines are gorgeous. Um, um, actually, Christy shows you another one, and I think that's the one that I have, too, and I can't think of the name of it. But um, it turned out pretty nice. It's, and it really worked up quick because, like, all the papers are picked out for you. You don't have to do anything. Just cut them out and get them down on your pages, and you're good to go, so... That's, these were actually for the back cover, so the, both those pages are for the back cover. Oops, sorry, out of frame. And that's my bind it all. Oops. And you have to get the, um, the little coils to connect between the back cover and the back page. So then you don't see that. It just closes and you don't see it. And then the book lays flat. So it turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. Um, so... That's about it for today, guys. I think, what was I going to do next? Um, I have to alter some keys for Art and Sassy. So I have one around here somewhere, my white one, this one. They have to be those big ones from Michael's. So I'm going to probably be doing that next. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.